B.2, partitioning in quicksort. In this part, we look at the most important step in quicksort. That is the partition step. Divide, yeah, the same as the meaning of divide, but here we like to call it partition step. All right, do partition, yeah, divide, all right, yeah. First, we know when we do the divide step to get a two subarrays, the key condition we want to have, that is the key condition. But the main question is how to get that, right? How to get that, a lot of details. So let us implement the divide step. First, we need to get our plan there, right? Yeah. So first we need to lay out a nice plan. What do we want to do, right? Next, we fix the details implementing this plan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fixing the implementation details. So let me use a diagram. So this is the original array. Then when we split it into two subarrays, yeah, how to split? Yeah, a lot of details we need to do. Yeah, but we know the result. We have little a subarray and a little b subarray with the critical condition a of i less than or equal to b of j. Yeah. All right. So here you can see, although we know we need to do this, right? Yep, we know we want to do this. But the question is, it looks not that easy to do it, right? It looks, we need to do a lot of things to get the situation. Okay, yep, all right. So here there is uncertainty regarding the sizes of A array and B array. How large is A array? How large is B array? We don't know. So that is some uncertainty. Yeah. So we need to do some work, right? Uncertainty. Yeah. Here. How to make it certain? Yeah. How to make it certain? Yeah. So that question. That is one question, not easy to answer, right? Not easy to answer, yeah. Here, we find a, a very important element, yeah, element. We need to pay a lot of attention there. So what's that? A special element to separate two summaries. Yeah. Here you can see, in order to split these two subarrays, we like to find a good element in the middle somewhere where between these two subarrays. And this special element plays a role of separator role. Separator, separate these two subarrays. That's important role, the critical role we want to have we want to find some element with this special role. You can see, yeah, that element should have the key property. This element should have key property, in place property. This element must be in place, in place property. What's the meaning in place here? Uh, let me re review a little bit. In place means if you get a whole array sorted, this array, this at this location, it is the right place. <laughs> right place. Yeah. So you put, you want to have some element in place right there. All right. Yes. That, that element can be used as a separator. If that element is not in place, it cannot be used as a separator. Right? Yeah. So that's the reason. This element is so special. Yeah. Let us look at that special element a little more. 
determine boundary of two summaries. That special element can be used as the boundary of the two summaries. So that's the reason it is so important. Boundary, yeah. Look at this diagram. You can see the P element in the middle. We call a pivot element. Yeah. So important, so critical. So we call it pivot element. So we put a P there. It is in place. <laughs> this pivot element in place has this property. All right. Then, other than this property, then all the elements at its left hand side should be less than or equal to P, and all the elements at its right hand side should be greater or equal to P. That is what we need for this pivot element. Pivot element. All right? Yeah. But how to find it? <laughs> Here you can see, although we know what we want to have, but you can see, still, you need to do a lot of work. Okay, a lot of work. Yeah. So let's go to the next page. This time, we want to select a good candidate to be used as a pivot. Good candidate to be used as the pivot element. All right. Yeah, so let's do some simple analysis here. Any element has equal role in the array. Yes, when we are given an array, we don't have any information regarding the values of all the elements, right? We don't have any information. Under that assumption, then we can say, any element has an equal role in the array. So that means any element can be used as a pivot, right? Equally well to be used as the pivot element. Yeah. No reason to favor any particular element, right? If we just look at the value of an element, no reason to favor any particular element. All right. But... Yeah, yeah. So that means we can do random selection. Yeah. From the probability point of view, if you make a random selection, they have the equal chance, right? Equal chance. Yeah, yeah. But still, there is something not equal. There is another factor not that make the, you know, for different elements, their roles are different. Yeah, so what what is that factor? Position factor. Position wise, element at a, which position is the most convenient? Yeah. Position wise, they are not equal. Some positions, when you work on the separation operation much easier, very convenient, but some positions not very convenient, right? Yeah, that is quite natural. Yeah. Here, let us look at, compare different roles, different for different positions. Yeah. Look at this diagram, the whole array. Yeah. We can pick any position in this array. So look at this one. Yeah. How about this choice? Is this a convenient location or not? Yeah. So let us, what do we need to do here? Yeah. Because think about when we do the divide operation, especially we want to maintain these two inequalities. When we need to do that, we need to move elements around, all right? Elements from left to right, right to left. We need to move elements around, all right? When you do that kind of moves, if you need to deal with some element in the middle, it's not very convenient. It is not very convenient, yeah. And we know 
if you pick a random element in the middle, usually it is not in place, right? Yeah. It's not in place in general. Yeah. If it's not in place, that means later you still you, you need to change this position, right? Yeah. Uh, and another thing is when you move elements left to right, right to left, when you need to deal with something in the middle, it's not convenient, right? Yeah. So we treat it as a roadblock. It's a roadblock, right? So you can imagine from the diagram, you can see where you want to move along this line, it's a roadblock, right? So you want to find some special locations that won't be a roadblock, won't be a roadblock when you move elements from left to right, right to left, no roadblock. All right, yeah. So you can see only two locations won't be the roadblock. Leftmost element and the rightmost element, they won't be the roadblock. Okay, yeah. So it's very easy to see these two special loca locations. So we want to take advantage of these two special locations to be considered as the pivot location. Here, we are not talking about the value. We are talking about the position. Pivot position, not pivot value, okay? Value, we can use the random, randomly selected element. But location, it has to be one of the two extremal positions, all right, yeah. All right, next, we want to look at this pivot element. Yeah, we, uh, we just use the last element as the pivot. Yeah, definitely you can choose the first position as the pivot element for the pivot element. Yeah, actually some version of quicksort, they use the first element. Some version use the last, some version use the first. Here, let us use the last element to be the location for the pivot element. All right, then we need to maintain two subarrays, A subarray and a B subarray. And for the A subarray, we want to maintain this property, A of I less than or equal to P and for B summary, we want to maintain this property, B of J greater or equal to P. If you can achieve this property, you complete the divide step or partition step. All right, so here, the details, you can imagine a little bit yeah, in our next video, we will fix it. We will see the details. Yeah, pretty smart. Yeah, but we already, we are halfway there. Halfway of our partition step. Remaining half. Yeah, we will do it in the next video. Remaining half. Yeah. All right, so 